What is up you guys, my name is Lena and today is going to be a new video talking about my college stats because so many of you guys asked for this video from my college decision video and I honestly didn't think I was going to be making this video just because I feel very unqualified just because a lot of the schools that I thought I'd get into I didn't get into and like I feel like I just didn't I feel like I just didn't get into a lot of schools to make this video but I mean some of you guys commented about LMU and Irvine so I'm just like okay I'll just make the video and also a lot of you guys like showed some love on that video and like subscribed to my channel which I did not expect because I literally flat out said I don't know when I'm gonna be uploading next uh in the last video but here we are so why don't we just get started on my college stats yeah I really didn't want to make this video because I don't want you guys to be judging my entire application but you know what I'm doing it for you guys. Okay, so the GPA that I applied to college with was a 4.16, I believe. I'm pretty sure my UC GPA was a little bit lower though because one of my honors classes was not considered as a UC honors, so I think that makes my UC GPA lower. Yeah, and I got all A's throughout high school, so my unweighted GPA is a 4.0. But some of the colleges actually asked for mid-year transcripts, and these are a lot of the private school colleges. So they saw my first semester senior year grades, and I did get A's for first semester, so my GPA is is now a 4.23 okay now for standardized testing I actually did take the ACT and I got a 26 on it and that I did not study for or try at all it was in April and but it ended up being that my schools actually saw my ACT score I did not send them to the schools I'm pretty sure like my high school sent it or something because I did I literally did not send in that score I did not want them to see that score the UC saw that ACT score, uh, so that kind of sucked, but I didn't like the ACT, so I took the SAT, and I ended up getting a 1430 on my third try, and that's the one that I sent to all my common app schools and my UC schools. Okay, now let's talk about what classes that I took throughout high school. So in my sophomore year, I actually moved from Hawaii to California. So the curriculum in the two schools were a little bit different. I feel like I didn't really know what classes I should be taking in the new school. Yeah, I just wasn't really ready, I feel like. Like I didn't know how college process works in general and what classes I should have been taking. Um, so let me go over what classes I took or I'll honestly just input it on the screen. So that is my freshman year classes. Freshman year doesn't really matter for the UC schools. The only thing that matters is your sophomore and junior year grades and the classes you're taking. So definitely take APs during sophomore and junior year. That will literally boost your GPA and will get you in. Okay, so my sophomore year classes, I'll just read them out to you guys and I'll have it right here. I took English too. World History, which World History I should have taken freshman year, uh, but I was a new student. And then I took Japanese 2, Geometry, PE, Chemistry, and Drama. So there was no APs or honors in there. Uh, and then junior year, uh, I took English 3, A Push, Psychology, Japanese 4 Honors, Alg 2 Pre-Calc Honors, Physics, and Digital Design. There was a lot of things I could have done to just make my schedule more beneficial for my GPA. Like I could have taken Physics my senior year and then taken an AP class my junior year. But you know, we're stupid and we didn't know this stuff. <laughs> okay, and then my senior year classes uh, that I'm taking right now is English 4, Film and Media Studies, AP Econ first semester, AP Gov second semester, and then AP Stat, AP Calculus AB, and AP Environmental Science. So I had a lot of APs my senior year and kind of killed me, but you know, I don't even know if it was worth it. I feel like definitely you should have been spreading out your APs throughout high school. Okay, now let's just move on to essays and extracurriculars, which I feel like is a very, very important part of your application. Uh, just making yourself sound really good, honestly. Okay, so I wasn't really a sports person, but I did do track my freshman year, and then I did soccer, but not high school soccer, sophomore and junior year. Um, but that wasn't really what I wanted my application to like, be known for, because obviously I wasn't getting into the school through sports, so I needed to show off... Um, other things. I threw some volunteering in there and then my main focus was to look like a business person because I was applying to all my schools for business majors or communications. The main extracurricular I guess that I did throughout high school was in sophomore year I started my channel, my YouTube channel, not this channel, another channel um, and I grew that really really fast and I was able to gain like a lot of knowledge about 
just like video business started selling stuff online i got to work for like commercials and do stuff like that so basically that was kind of like the main thing i talked about and that was like my common app essay literally my common app essay was moving from hawaii to california and then discovering my new passions and yeah so that was kind of like my common app essay and then my uc essays one of them was my leadership essay and that one i wrote about youtube but not in a business way i wrote it in a completely different format i think i talked about the type of videos i made and then my other one was about the business side of youtube which it wasn't really about youtube it was more just video stuff but my kind of regret is that i made those as, as two separate essays because i feel like i should have just talked about something else like i sh didn't have to talk about youtube for two essays okay yeah so my leadership essay was my favorite essay and then another one of my favorite essays was my how do you stand out from other applicants essay because that one is very personal very deep and i don't really feel like sharing it um but the main thing that it was about was that i could be empowering at the uc campuses and like be involved in progressive movements and stuff like that so i think that was a really good essay and then my last essay i just didn't like so i'm not even going to talk about it it wasn't really that good i don't think you guys would benefit from hearing about it yeah i think that's pretty much it for my application here are some tips this is literally blinking red i'm kind of scared so I just wanted to share with you guys some of my tips for some incoming um, applicants. Even if you're freshmen, like freshmen would probably benefit the most from this, honestly. Okay, here are some of my big takeaways from this video. One, load up on the AP sophomore and junior year. That's the best thing you can do to get to your top schools. Uh, number two, take the SAT early. Number three, senior year, do not get a job because that is what I did and I could not handle jobs, five APs, and college apps. So definitely make sure you have like a, if you're really like trying to invest in college, like make sure you're, you have enough time to like put yourself in your essays and try to start your essays early. Okay, I kind of just wanted to wrap this video up just by saying how um, after my decisions were over and I like looked back at my high school career and thought about all the things I should have done, could have done to like, you know, be a better applicant, I realized I couldn't really do anything because you can't really regret anything that you did because if I like, for example, if I loaded up on the AP sophomore year, I would have never started my YouTube channel. I don't think I would have. Um, if I never moved to California, I thought about how, oh my God, I should have just stayed in Hawaii throughout high school because the school that I went to was really good in Hawaii and it had a big name and I could have gotten into better schools. So the name of the school you go to definitely matters if you're out of state. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Yeah, I just thought about all these things I should have done, but really, like, I wouldn't have gained all the experiences I had, and, like, I would not be the person I am today if I didn't go through all the things that I did, and I would have rather had more time and have more fun, focus on video work and, like, stuff like that, and then not get into, like, the perfect college. I, like, I feel like if you're just drowning yourself in all this work just for a college, like, you must be really invested in this college. And that's, like, fine. That's totally fine. But, like, if you feel like you're going to be tortured and, like, suffered and you're not going to, like, be able to live good experience throughout high school, I mean, like, life is short, you know? If, if this isn't, like, your main passion, like, you don't want to be working towards a fucking school, then just don't, don't stress yourself out you know literally focus on your passions like do what you want to do and like college is not everything so remember that good luck to any incoming applicants that are getting ready to apply for college if you have any more comments or questions or anything leave them in the comments below and let me know what other types of videos you guys want to see i think i'm going to be vlogging this week i told you guys in my last video like i don't really know when i'm going to be up uploading videos on this channel because i really am like like have not been on this youtube game recently at all but i'm pretty sure i'm going to be vlogging this week with my friend and then who knows after you know we just take it week by week thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video peace